What is good, Neo family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo. I'm going to talk about what the news is saying about Neo and what my future price prediction is for Neo for the short term and long term future. And I have a lot in this video that I think you guys should really pay attention to. But before I do get started, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial, legal, or taxation expert. So do not take this as legal, financial, or taxation advice or anything like that. This video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this on the screen. But if it's the entire new community as a whole, with all that said and done and out of the way, guys, let's get on with the video. So looking at the six-month chart of Neo like this, I could show you something very interesting. Let me bring, bring up a MACD. And you could see right over here, let me zoom in just a little bit, we're still on this bullish cycle. You could see that right over here, the MACD crossed. And then Neo dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. It had a little bit of a switch, but it was fluctuating back and forth. And then right over here, around I would say October 6th, the MACD flipped after New hit that low of $33 and it's been on this upward trajectory. But right now it's in a phase where it's bouncing between levels of support and resistance, but it still is in a bullish cycle. It, the bullish cycle is not over yet. And I still think it has a lot of room to run. Now, looking at some other indicators, we can see that the RSI is showing quite a bit of strength for Neo, especially quite recently. Very, very, very strong, which means Neo does have the strength it needs to possibly stair step its way up. But the problem is it is fighting against the level of resistance at 40 and that's a little bit tough because if i do bring up the i would say the six month chart once again you could see that the fibonacci if i bring up a fibonacci it's going to show you something very interesting so let me bring up a fibonacci and show you guys something that i think you should be paying attention to if we start down here and go all the way up real quick look at this right over here we could see that Neo is fighting between the, the resistance right over here around 40, $39.97. It's basically around the $40 range, and it's fighting to get right past that. So the thing is, even though it did get kind of rejected, it didn't necessarily get rejected entirely. It just bounced back and forth and back and forth. It's pushing to fight it, but it hasn't been able to break it yet. But I do think eventually it's going to break it because you could see this clear recovery phase right over here it almost resembles a u-shape and we could see neo come all the way back to 56 dollars this year and i'm not the one saying that guys you guys don't have to trust everything i do say because i do think neo can go as high as 56 dollars this year or maybe even higher and i have some big reasons as to why so before i talk about my price prediction or anything like that for tomorrow let's look at what the news is saying so i do want to talk about tesla tesla did report a record revenue and profits for its third quarter earnings report and made a lot of profit it did really really well you could see that they ended up killing all of the expectations they were expected to only have an earnings per share of a dollar 59 they ended up doing a dollar 86 well above that their expected revenue was 13.63 billion they did over 13.76 billion they made a lot of profit as well i mean they absolutely crushed it they also reported that they have a lot of cash at hand, over a billion dollars, and that's really good for Tesla. They're, they absolutely crushed it. So the reason I'm talking about Tesla is they did really well, and they're currently in the green. So because Tesla's in the green, that's playing a big role in Neo being in the green as well, because they do tend to move together. Obviously, Tesla had a green day today, and so did Neo. But remember tesla has been developed it's an ev company that existed for a long time it's been around since i would say 2006 2007 2008 tesla has been around for over a decade neo on the other hand has been around for under seven years they're barely going to be this is barely their seventh year so they're much 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 younger so i don't want to tell you that tesla is better i don't want to tell you that neo is better they're both great companies but i need to put it out there that Neo is still following Tesla in a way. They're still changing the panic on how Tesla does in terms of its overall stock price movement. Because if I bring up the Tesla chart right over here, we can see that Tesla had a big run today. And as it had that big run, the green didn't just you know, move for Tesla, it caused Neo to be in the green as well. And Neo is doing well. And I do think that Neo is eventually going to hit $56 this year. And here's the reason why it says right over here, according to the street, there are, are a ton of ads on here, but it says, can Neo stock really rally 66% to $56 a share? And a lot of people are questioning it. A lot of people are really confused. But remember, Goldman Sachs, and many other analysts out there have said that NEO has a price target of $56 in the near-term future. And a lot of people might say that's crazy. They're like, how can NEO go that high? Well, you have to remember that we have insane amounts of catalysts out there. 
not just because of how they, well they did in the quarterly earnings report, because if I do bring this up right over here, Tesla wasn't the only one that crushed the third quarterly earnings report. NIO delivered over 10,628 cars globally in September 2021, 24,000 cars in three months, which I think is absolutely insane considering how young this company is you could see right over here the annual deliveries keep going up and up and up and up the monthly deliveries have been on an upward trend since the drop after what happened you know because of the global chip shortage the semiconductor shortage and all that stuff it's okay they're on the recovery phase they're up and coming they're amazing so i really want to put that out there basically people out there are talking about how tesla you know it it exploding to 900 dollars played a big role in neo and other companies being in the green sure but i want to tell you guys something People are saying that NEO is going to go to $56 a share. And why is that? Why is it that NEO could easily go to $56 a share very, very soon? Look right over here. This is the big thing I want to show you. NEO Day 2021 will be held in December. Remember what happened last NEO Day? December 18th, 2021. That's when NEO Day is going to be held. And I'm very, very excited. Super excited. It's going to be fantastic. And I think we're going to see something very, very big announced, whether it's European expansion, whether it's a change in their ES8 model, some type of new full self-driving technology. They have so many things to be announced. And instead of doing this, instead of making the announcements for their sedan and all that, instead of doing that in um, January of 2022, they're choosing to do this in December of 2021, which means... I think that's going to lead to a big increase in the share price. If I zoom in, if I zoom out all the way and I move over here, remember what happened last NEO day. NEO ran all the way to $66. So I don't see why NEO won't do that again. I think there's going to be a lot of FOMO, a lot of hype, and a lot of people are going to try to get a piece of the pie and get involved in the overall movement. Now, for my specific price prediction, I think that tomorrow it's going to be another sideways day. I think it's a, it's a strong fight to break past 40, but it's going to be a little bit tough because Neo is barely getting there. It might be a little bit in the green, but we should close above 39. But yeah, 40 is what we're trying to beat. If we could break past 40, we're going to have another run up to the mid $45 level. We can make it up there. I really believe that. And I think that Neo is undervalued, but eventually eventually because we are in a bullish cycle we could see an entire full recovery before that year ends especially leading up to december 18th to 56 dollars and i do think we're going to hit that target we may even end up breaking well above it so i'm very bullish for neo i think neo has insane potential and it's just a matter of time so the last thing i want to say and i want to close this video by reminding you the stock market is not for the impatient it is a place for the patient, those who are very, very patient and willing to wait it out. That's how we're going to get gains on NEO. It's not going to explode overnight. And it, you could see huge gains in one day, sure. But you have to be patient. With that said and done, guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you and peace out.